Good afternoon, Mr. Po, Mr. Mark, Mr. Wu, teachers and fellow BBS students. My name is Hariza. And I am Filza. And we are both from 182. First and foremost, we would like to wish all Malay teachers and students Selamat Hari Raya! Hari Raya. Today, we are lining up many exciting performances for all of you. We will also be sharing with you how we celebrate Hari Raya Puasa or Hari Raya Ideal Fitri in Singapore. Before we start with the sharing on Hari Raya Puasa, let me share with you more about the holy month of Ramadan. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim calendar in which Muslims all around the world abstain from eating and drinking from dawn till dusk. We stop eating and drinking when the sun rises all the way till the sun sets. Young children, pregnant women, and those who are not healthy enough to fast are not required to observe the fast. During the month of Ramadan, Muslims are encouraged to focus more of their time and attention on improving their faith and building a stronger relationship with God. At the same time, Muslims are required to maintain positive intentions, perform good deeds as well as acts of charity. While performing their fast, Muslims must pair a thought or two for those who do not enjoy the same privilege. Through the actions mentioned above, Muslims cultivate their patience, spirituality, self-control and empathy for the less fortunate. After a month long of fasting during the month of Ramadan, Muslims all around the world will celebrate Idil Fitri festival. Hari Raya refers to a day of celebration in Malay, while Idil Fitri comes from the Arabic word Eid Al Fitri, which means the festival of breaking fast. In Southeast Asia, Idil Fitri is also known as Hari Raya Puasa, and it is the most celebrated Muslim festival. Idil Fitri also marks the start of the new month, Shawal. Some mistakes the festival as the Muslim New Year, but it is actually celebrating the first day of the 10th month of the Muslim calendar, after the previous month of fasting. On the first day of Shawal, there is a morning prayer that mostly the Muslim males will attend. The females of the family will usually be home preparing food for the family, as well as preparing the house to welcome guests. They are, however, welcome to join in the prayer session if they choose to. When Hari Raya Puasa is around the corner, you will usually hear festive songs on the radio, malls or shops. The songs usually talk about the meaning of Hari Raya, the preparation, food, visiting, celebration and asking forgiveness from each other. Today, Hari Raya songs have evolved into many kinds of genres, but they continue to bring festive joy or even moments of reflection on the importance of the occasion. Before we proceed further, let us enjoy two performances. First is a Hari Raya song titled Satu Hari di Hari Raya by Hafiz from 1A1. Following that, we have the Chinese orchestra performing an instrumental rendition of a song titled Suasana di Hari Raya. Enjoy! Satu hari di hari raya Ku lihat cahaya bersinar indah Langit cemerlang tak terkira Tanda kuasa yang maha esa Memberi nima pada manusia Satu hari di hari raya Ku dengar irama yang sungguh indah Ku cuba mendekati padanya Kira irama itu adalah suara puji pada yang Isa. Satu hari di hari raya, aku menangis tanda gembira. Aku menangis tanda ku cinta kepadanya. Satu hari di hari raya. Kuli hawa aja suci ibuku, kuli hawa aja kasih ayahku, ku gembira. Mungkin inilah dia kebahagiaan. 
satu hari di hari raya Ku lihat cahaya bersinar indah Langit cemerlang tak terkira Tanda kuasa yang maha esa Memberi nima pada manusia Satu hari di hari raya Aku menangis tanah gembira Aku menangis tanah ku cinta Kepadanya Satu hari di hari raya Kulihat wajah suci ibuku Kulihat wajah kasih ayahku Ku gembira Mungkin inilah dia kebahagiaan Satu hari di hari raya Ku lihat cahaya bersinar indah Langit cemerlang tak terkira Tanda kuasa yang maha esa Memberi nima pada manusia Satu hari di hari raya
also love the instrumental rendition by Chinese orchestra. All of them played with confidence. Alright, that's enough. Let's get back to our sharing. Hari Raya Ideal Tutri is also a time to seek forgiveness from family and friends for any wrongdoings over the past year. After morning prayers, families will usually seek forgiveness from their elders. The younger person shows respect by sitting lower than the older person and asks for forgiveness while holding their hands. They will commonly say, Ma'a Zahir Dan Batin, which means, please forgive my actual wrongdoings and bad thoughts towards you. During this time, it is common to have a very emotional atmosphere along with tears of both sadness and happiness. After that, they will proceed to visit the homes of friends and families all dressed up in their new clothes for a festive get-together. It is common to greet people with Salam Aidil Fitri, Selamat Hari Raya or Eid Mubarak. Last year was the most memorable Hari Raya celebration I had in my life. I am sure many of you feel the same way too. Let's hear about it from some of our teachers. Good afternoon, Mr. Sam. Good afternoon, Arina. Good afternoon, Mr. Tan. How are you? Yeah, hey, I'm good. Good afternoon, Ms. Yanti. How good are afternoon. you? I'm good. I'm feeling good. So the first one will be, how do you feel about celebrating Hari Raya during COVID-19? Honestly, I feel very isolated celebrating Hari Raya in uh, the times of COVID-19. Mainly because I already live on my own and I don't get to see my family very often. And on a special day as Hari Raya, to be still alone and, and not be in a big group of family, uh, it does feel uh, lonely and isolating at times. So generally, that's how I felt last year and I hope not to feel like that this year. So the second question will be, how different is it to celebrate Hari Raya during COVID compared to celebrating it before COVID? If we think about uh, the spirit of Hari Raya Arena, uh, it is really about forging relationship, uh, meeting up and uh, seeking forgiveness from each other. So if I were to compare before and during COVID-19 uh, Hari Raya experience, in essence, there shouldn't be much difference because I can still Zoom call my family members, speak to my mom and seek forgiveness electronically, you know, through, through the phone, through, through Zoom. I still can do that. You know, I may be missing the, the touching, you know, when we, when we salam, when we shake hands, we kiss our parents' hands, we hug. You know, I love to hug my mom. I love the smell of my mom. So uh, that's the part that will be missing. But the part is that I can still practice the tradition of seeking forgiveness, even in the times of uh, COVID-19. Uh, this seems like this is a source-based comparison question, no? <laughs> but actually this is, uh, how is it different, right? When, when we see, now of course when we see Hari Raya, there is much lesser physical gathering and stuff. But I thought the spirit of Hari Raya is still there. I saw a lot of my friends are posting the celebration that they have with, with their families and friends, be it over Zoom. I, I think the most important is the spirit and there is, so I thought it's great. So we're looking at last year's Hari Raya in the upcoming one. As an observer and also as someone who has Muslim relations, the difference is that we don't all gather at the same place. The big celebration of the extended family, all the, the multi-generational and all that, and now you have to be conscious of the numbers and you have to make sure you do not overlap and things like that. Even for myself, I usually go and visit my relations during uh, Raya. And so this year and last year, we kind of like did not do any visiting to allow for this this uh, regulations to be carried out. Is there anything you miss about celebrating Hari Raya before COVID nineteen? I miss Geylang and get the vibes, get the Hari Raya vibes. Uh, I may not go to Geylang and shop at all, but I just love being amongst the throngs of people, talking to strangers who. For just just some strange reasons, we we feel the vibes, and then you know it's a festive spirit. Or, or running into my friends at the bazaar, so I, I do miss that. I also miss fussing over the clothes that I want to wear, and uh, my family members will call and say we're gonna match our clothing. Like oh, I'm gonna wear bate, I'm gonna wear this. So we, we try to do all that, but now we don't do that very much. Is there anything you miss about Hari Raya? Um, before COVID, as someone who doesn't celebrate it. Definitely. And actually, I celebrate to a small extent in the sense that my, my friends every year will actually invite me to a place and then we will have a barbecue and we have some goodies and eat and we chat. Usually, it will last from about in lunchtime to about evening time and we have great fun every year. 
Yeah, so that's something definitely I miss. What do you think about the way the Muslims are celebrating Hari Raya this year? During COVID time, everything is toned down and I really feel for our Muslim brothers and sisters because the whole celebration thing has to be toned down. You have to observe the rules, you have to be conscious and you have to stagger your visits. And you probably not get to meet relations that you normally would meet once a year at least. My heart goes out to each and every one of you. Have you ever gone to like the night bazaars? That's always like ah. happened in Ramadan. Oh yes, I did, I did. I, I think I went there a few times before. Uh, I usually I did not go in the evening time. I go before the crowd comes in. But it's already very crowded and there's a lot of great food every year that was uh, on sale. I, I miss all those food definitely. Thank you, Mr. Tan. You're welcome. It's nice to know that I'm not the only one who feels that way. I'm thankful that we are here in Singapore, where technology has given us the opportunity to make virtual high raya visits to our loved ones, so as to keep our ties and traditions alive. Even with the restrictions, one thing that I look forward to at every high raya is the food! Yup, during high raya, Muslims will also be busy preparing festive staples such as ketupat. Ketupat is a diamond-shaped rice cake made of cooked rice compressed and wrapped in woven coconut leaves. Ketupat is commonly served during Hari Raya and accompanied to savoury dishes such as rendang, ayam merah, sambal goreng and serunding. Ketupat is also commonly used as a form of decoration during Hari Raya where Muslim families hang ketupat-shaped fairy lights and empty ketupat cases outside their houses and windows. There will also be other Malay delicacies such as various kueh mule to be served on Hari Raya Puasa. Some of the common traditional kueh include kueh tat nanas, which is a small bite-sized pastry filled or topped with pineapple jam. Kueh makmur is also a hot favourite during Hari Raya, a small kueh made from butter, ghee, flour with peanut fillings. Kueh makmur is identified with its white or sometimes green colour, shaped like a leaf. Other traditional kueh include kueh bangkit, kueh sarang semut, and kueh dahlia. Aside from the traditional kueh, more varieties of modern kueh is also being prepared during Hari Raya, such as meringue, tapak kuda cake, nutella tarts, honey cornflakes, and many more. Wow, these kueh are making me hungry. Shall we take a break from our sharing to enjoy this kueh? That is a good idea! While we enjoy the kueh, let's leave them with two more performances by our talented BBS students. One is a song item by a group of Sec3 students titled Selamat Hari Raya. Following that, we will also have a dance item by the members of BAPTI, our Malay Dance CCA who recently clinched the Certificate of Distinction in this year's SYF judging. Sit back and enjoy!
maafkanlah jika ada terlanjur perkataan Biar untuk kaya jangan disimpan Berdoa selama panjang umur rezeki Semoga Tuhan akan memberkati Selamat hari raya Hari untuk kita bersuka ria Selamat kami ucapkan Untuk kita ingat sampai tahun depan Selamat hari raya You like to take this chance to wish all Muslim staff and students Selamat Hari Raya! Ketupat decoration making. At the end of the activity, 
Do join us in this festive mood and decorate your classroom with as many ketupats as possible. We would like to take this opportunity to wish all of you Selamat Hari Raya Ma'azai Rabatin!